Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be bringing you the second in a series of skincare videos related to skincare ingredients and the ingredient that I'm going to talk to you about today is salicylic acid. But first if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that if you find this video useful you will consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the little subscribe button and hit the little bell next to it which will notify you each time I post a new video. Also before I get started with this video I wanted to remind you the same thing that I said in my glycolic acid video which is no no YouTube video or Google search can replace the expertise that your dermatologist has. So I urge you to take the information that you get from this video today and take it to your dermatologist where you can come up with a skincare regimen that suits your skincare needs, especially if you are a person that has dry skin or easily irritated skin or sensitive skin or if you have any skincare conditions, or if you're a person of color, please see your dermatologist and find out what is the best skincare regimen for you. Also, as you all know, I'm an anesthesiologist and that is my field of expertise, which is why this series of videos is a collaboration between me and my friend and colleague, Dr. Ted Lane, who is a board certified dermatologist who practices in Austin, Texas. I have been able to talk to him over the phone about some of these skincare ingredients and he's been able to answer my questions and clarify a few things for me so that I can bring back the most accurate information to you. So let's talk about salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is an oil soluble molecule which makes it excellent for penetrating the skin and getting really deep into pores. In fact, in comparison with glycolic acid, salicylic acid is able to penetrate pores even better and really clean out those pores, which is why it is such a good acne medication. Um, salicylic acid is a BHA, so you will often see after salicylic acid the, word, the letters BHA, which just stands for beta hydroxy acid in comparison to something like glycolic acid, which is an alpha hydroxy acid. So salicylic acid comes in several different concentrations. The ones that we see at the drugstore are typically in the concentrations of 0.5 to 2%. And, um, you know, like for example, Neutrogena has a foundation that's 0.5%. They have a moisturizing lotion that is 0.5% salicylic acid for acne prone skin. And you can see higher percentages of salicylic acid in spot treatments in the grocery store up to 2%. And many times you will see facial washes that have 2% salicylic acid. The two that come to my mind are the Neutrogena 2% salicylic acid facial wash and the Aveeno foaming 2% salicylic acid wash. You can get higher percentages of salicylic acid for salicylic acid peels like 20% and higher but I highly recommend that if you are thinking of doing a salicylic acid peel that you do not order salicylic acid off the internet and just do a peel. Please see your dermatologist if you're thinking about a peel because if you have any skin conditions um, it can be very damaging or irritating to your skin if you do appeal. According to Dr. Lane, if you have rosacea or seborrhea, doing a salicylic acid peel can really damage your skin. So please, if you were thinking about doing a higher level salicylic acid peel, see your dermatologist. Um, so let's learn a little bit more about salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is a salicylate and um, you may know that aspirin is also a salicylate. So they're in the same family of drugs. And one of the big properties of aspirin that helps it to treat pain is that it is an anti-inflammatory drug. So like aspirin, because salicylic acid is a salicylate, it has also got anti-inflammatory properties and also antibacterial properties, which makes it a really, really good choice for people that have acne prone skin. So how does salicylic acid work? Well, like glycolic acid, because it is an acid, it is able to break down the glue that holds skin cells together. And so that is that makes it a keratinolytic, which just means that it breaks down the glue that holds cells together and is an exfoliating agent. Salicylic acid is also wonderful for acne because it is able to break down all of the things that clog our pores. Many times people that have um, acne uh, their clogs, their pores are clogged with oil and sebum and bacteria and dead skin cells. And it is that ball of junk inside the pore that leads to acne. But salicylic acid is able to break that down, thereby clearing out the pores and treating acne and preventing acne. And with continued use, you may see decreased size of your pores um, as you will with glycolic acid. So agents that are able to clean out the things that clog our pores with continued use may diminish the size of your pores. So what are the things we need to think about when we are using something like salicylic acid? Number one, it is an acid. It does dry out your skin. So please be cognizant of what type of skin type you have. I have oily skin and if I use a 2% salicylic acid wash every single day, my skin gets very, very dried out. So if you are a person that's got really dry skin or normal skin, I recommend starting with the lowest dose of salicylic acid, like 0.5%. 
use it you know every couple of days or every other day just to see how your skin tolerates it and then inch up as you see that you are tolerating it well um, in addition to that, uh, keep in mind that if you want to start a salicylic acid agent, according to Dr. Lane, it's a good idea to start with a wash because you're not leaving that on your skin for a prolonged period of time. You're just washing your skin off with it and then washing it off. So that's a good way to test out how your skin will respond to salicylic acid. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is that like any exfoliating agent, salicylic acid, if you're us using it in conjunction with other exfoliating agents, exfoliating agents can really, really dry out and irritate your skin. So if you're using glycolic acid or retin-A or retinol and you decide to add salicylic acid, please be cognizant of what it is doing to your skin because you don't want to cause severe skin ir irritation. And lastly, like I said in my gly glycolic acid video, if you are using any exfoliating agent, whether that's salicylic acid or glycolic acid or retinol or retin-A, please be sure that you are using an SPF 30 or greater because anytime you're using exfoliating agents on your skin, you are at increased risk for um, UV rays damaging your skin. Don't use just a little bit, lather your skin in your sunscreen so that you get maximal protection from the harmful rays, uh, UV rays from the sun. So that is a little bit more information on salicylic acid for you all. I hope that you found that useful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below. Thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to watch this video today, and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.